All right, everybody, welcome back. We are here for part three of the hamburger automation process. And we are starting right now. So, next along the process is taking our excess of beef patties, because let me tell you, whew, these cows really did not hold back. <laughs> they completely filled up this. This was running way too fast, even though the uh, input of beef is really quick. I thought it would be a lot slower, honestly. But yeah, I upgraded this uh, Emerald Furnace to Netherite Furnace. It was really simple. You just type in Furnace. Then I crafted this one, which was... I have everything to make that. And then I crafted this one, which all it took was some blaze powder and some slime balls that I had and Netherite ingots, soul sand, obsidian. That was all really easy. So now that this is uh, completely full... I uh, need to automate this process. So the next uh, thing in line is automating the bread because hamburgers take onion, tomato, lettuce, beef patty, and bread. Simple, this is all I need right here. It's a really simple process. All we do, Oh, whoops. Take this. Well, first, let's uh, put down our chest and color it to three red. We haven't used red yet. Let's use red. Okay, we take our little create wrench, push everything out there. Oh, whoops. Okay. And now what we can do is come to the back of this get rid of this border and this border we can take a hopper okay hold on a minute we're gonna need to have another chest here I don't have hoppers on me okay I thought I had almost everything I would need on me but apparently not So I'm going to need because I really want to just automate as much bread making as possible and that only depends on how fast this thing can run What we're going to do here, we're going to input our thing here, input our thing there. Oh, well, that is not how we want it to be right now. Uh, for now, we're going to use three green. Because we definitely don't want it to be white. <laughs> set up what we're going to do next we are going to take okay um how do we want to do this for now i just need to make a singular little okay we'll use this one because this one's empty Take this, and for the time being, what we're going to do, because this won't be a full process, I just am probably going to do this part later. I'm going to take all of this wheat, and we're going to move it all temporarily to this box, as well as 
18. Well, okay, we definitely did not think about this. Oh wait, I should have a spare one actually I can use. Um, yeah, two gold, two gold to work. Um, temporarily, this will just take some air. Okay. This thing can hold up to 524,000. And we are going to later make some more botany pots that will basically just. Botany pots with another sorter, probably. Actually, let's take this one off for now. Oh, whoops. Be, well, hmm. I guess I technically didn't think about this right. <laughs> Can't have an input from there. I have to have an input from the. Actually, let's do the back. The back will be better. We'll do it from the middle so it looks even. Take our. Okay. Or not our mechanical crafter, our storage drawer. Cobblestone to fill in that hole real quick. Place down a rotation speed controller. Okay. Rotation speed controller needs to go this way. Place in our large cog. Grab our large water wheel. Break these two spots. Our water bucket. And we'll double this thing's speed to 32. And as it just keeps placing, it'll just keep making us bread. So there's the bread process being done. And as you can see, you can see it at 64. It moves a lot faster. And uh, basically that's bread. <laughs> We've just automatically made bread. And uh, eventually I'll set up some hopper botany pots that will feed in the wheat to here after it's going through a sorter so it can sort out the seeds so I can save the seeds. You never know what you'll need. But actually I'm not sure if I do need seeds at this point. I have all the chickens I need so I won't even need to breed them. Anyways, next up is the hamburger. It only really takes that. So part of me wonders if I can just kind of finesse it a little bit and just do this. I need a crystal chest because I don't need this going anywhere specific. I can just come from my train, basically, and grab food, head to a dungeon, and have hamburgers on hand, as many as I possibly need, which really will make this process a lot easier. Where are my crystal chests? Oh. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. I hope this works, because if it doesn't, it'll be kind of sad. <laughs> Now we need to do is we need to fix our wrench to go there, to go there, to go there, to go up. Okay, do that, do that. Definitely need to place these torches back. Spawn, and we don't want that. Okay, 
uh, large cogwheels, and my large water wheel. Do that. I guess I did it one block further. Do I want to move it backwards? Okay, I guess I might. will actually work. There we go. Okay. Grab this, place that back. Break those two blocks. Use my one time basic water bucket, and it will automatically do that. Move it up to 64. Oh, it's overstressed. Oh, probably because there's more. 43 will be fine. It still moves pretty fast. Okay. So now comes the process of moving our crops here to where we need them. So what we're going to do is place one, two, three. We're going to change them to different colors. I need more dye. <laughs> These will be their own separate chests so that I can basically just do that, do that, and that. So now they start having each of their respective stuff going in. I need to remember where these are. Okay, onion and tomato are bottom left. Okay, I'm going to change these beforehand so I don't end up with the same mistake. Okay, black, we don't need yet. Brown. Is tomato? Tomato goes bottom left. Okay. Do is pick this one up, grab a hopper, do that, and then we can place it there. It will now place tomatoes in this slot every time. What am I going to use this green chest for? Oh, right, I remember. It's going to be our input for this. Okay, uh, next is blue, which should be the onions. Yep, the onions. Now we will place this hopper here. Place that chest there, so that it will always place onions in this slot. And if it ever comes down to where we would actually need the rest, I can always just put them in the ground because I'll never need to see them and cover them with these uh, little mine or crafter slot covers. 
So yeah. Okay. Um. Next, we need some more red and some more hoppers. Okay. Time to make some more hoppers. So need some more red dye. Two more red dye. Okay, that should be enough. So I can take this, change this to red. I don't remember what my beef patty one was, but I'm gonna need to find out which one that is. I think that one was three yellows. Oh, it was two yellows. Figures. Okay, and then the top one is the top left one is the bread. So now it'll always place the bread there, and it will automatically follow all this bread that we're automatically making. Holy moly, it's already gone down by 700. <laughs> I'm really gonna need to increase my weight or wheat production. Not my wheat production. Okay, um let's see here. The black is the cabbage, and the cabbage goes all the way on the right. Almost there. We're almost done. I think. As far as I know, we if we don't come across any other issues. Okay. Now the last part is the beef patties. And if we do this successfully, everything will go amazingly. Oh, it's filling up. That is something. Mm, okay. I need two yellow dye. that down. Okay. We're finally ending this process. amazing and I feel like I might need to uh... yeah it's a little slow that's for sure but it's automatic being filled up pretty dang quick. So just to kind of speed this part along, we're going to kind of fill it up ahead of time. I, mean, I guess I could definitely make it a little faster. I might need to in the end. So that I can actually speed this up more. Which I might do. I need three more logs. I don't think they should connect. 
I might have put them a little too close together. That's unfortunate. I guess we're about to find out. Excuse me, Mr. Sheepies. Let's find out if we put it a little too close together. I think as long as I connect it to the right part, it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, there's a torch in the way. Okay. Oh. I mean, it's working. I don't think it connected, but I think this will let me, uh, I definitely need to move that other one down because it's de they definitely connected, which is all right. Okay, well that's not good. How much? Okay, they'll both run at ninety six, so that's good. Place that back. Place the tomatoes back. In Now it's a lot faster. Now it should be using up the beef pellets more. How is this getting XP? Well, that's kind of odd. Okay. Um, now we need to process the wheat so that this is automatic. This will be the chest that we end up choosing for that. I need to make more hopping botany pots. Dang, these are really going down fast. I might, uh, <laughs> I might need to do this for all of them. Mm. Okay. We might have a slight need for that. And since this is a kind of a short episode, we'll do that. Let's automate all of the, uh, Let's automate all of these crops because this is definitely not going to last long term. As you can see, it's already running out. And while I could increase it with my temporal bag as much as I would. Okay, actually. And I can't really boost it much more. But the, the process of making hamburgers is actually almost keeping up with the pace it's costing them to grow this fast. <laughs> That's the crazy part here. <laughs> and that used six hours of my temporal pouch to speed it up this much. 
So I definitely can't be doing that a lot. So what we need is probably five botany pots each for wheat. So I need 20 botany pots. Okay. These are pretty simple. I can make 20 of them. Relatively no problem. Uh, it's just smelting the clay is going to suck. So, uh, yeah, let's upgrade this furnace. Or actually, it really doesn't matter what we use. Never mind. I have a temporal pouch. Anything smelts fast with this thing. Um, we need... See, nothing really compares to it. Like, in the nick of time, it's already almost done. I didn't have enough. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> I'm going to assume I need roughly that much. So while that's working, I'm going to take a whole stack of wood, craft a plank, craft all of this in the chest. Two chests. Perfect, because I'm going to need some more later. If I end up needing more later, I just need. Now the problem comes with the fact that I need more of those. Always just attach them to the same exact. Uh, well, I guess the issue is really that it all just kind of transferred out of here. Pr oh my gosh, it actually completely transferred out of it. Oh boy. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna remove these. Temporarily. Did I remove this one? I did. Okay. What happened to the diamond upgrade? I grabbed it. Okay then. Man. 
these uh, drawers really are just going down. <laughs> the speed at which those mechanical crafters are going is crazy. Already 1.7k wheat. That's uh, ridiculous. So we're at two stacks of burgers. What bread do we have? We have a lot of bread. to basically is that all four of them? Okay. We're going to oh wait. I forgot about the actual hoppers I was going to need to <laughs> I just need to make like a whole stack of hoppers at this point. Because on top of the 20 I already need, I still need Let's see, 16 more hoppers? <laughs> and yeah, this is fun. Okay. Put that in there. Make more chests. This thing could keep up with the progress of five of these each. Because we're placing one on every single side. We could place nine, honestly. Like, that's what we could do. We just wouldn't have any, you know, actual value to it. This might be a little overkill, honestly. But, gotta prepare, right? <laughs> Got to prepare. Am I out of cobblestone? No problem. We'll just grab these. Grab this. Place in the ground. Okay. Why am I only able to make 14 of these? I am right. I was out of the things. Okay, never mind. I also need dirt. I am really short-sighted right now. <coughs> I figured, like, sometime <coughs> in the past I was probably going to need something of this caliber for uh, plants-wise. And I don't remember where I put all of these spare stuff. I did something with it. What I did, that still, I don't really know. all the spare stuff that I needed to plant. I honestly really don't have a clue. Huh. What did I do with them? Because I 
basically had gotten all of the seeds for everything. It's just whether I had actually gotten... Did I leave it in here? I did not. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I gotta hope that these onions might work. Can I use onions? Oh, I can. Cool. Those do work. I can just use the onions themselves. Good to know. Um, grass, or not grass, dirt. Do I have dirt? I don't know if I have dirt. And then I'll basically just end up moving those chests over there over to the uh, area just to make it all stay in that area. What am I doing? What was I doing? I don't remember what I was doing. Hmm, what was I doing? Right, dirt. Need dirt. Dirt. Okay. Also, need this gold upgrade. As well as this netherite upgrade. I'm going to take two of these out and just replace them with that because it's going to be easier for this for the sake of having just four other netherite ingots. Okay, uh, I have all the dirt required. I need to make the last three hoppers. Not hoppers. Gosh! <laughs> uh, last three Botany, hopper botany pots. Okay. No, get out of here, sheep. You're messing with my mojo. <laughs> okay, I have 20 of these. Should be enough, hopefully. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place dirt. Onion, dirt, onion, dirt, onion, dirt, onion, dirt, onions. Okay. Next is dirt, tomato, dirt, tomato, dirt, tomato, dirt, tomato, and dirt, tomato. Okay. Next is dirt. Cabbage, dirt, cabbage. Why do I feel like I said potato? I feel like I said to potato when I was trying to say tomato. That's so weird. They make those sound way too familiar for how different they look. Okay, uh, I did not grab wheat seeds. <laughs> Whoops. sake of this okay well now what we do is we have to fix these color coordinated things wait a minute that's a 
tomato growing in a cabbage. Oh man, I completely messed up, didn't I? I did mess up. That feels kind of bad. <laughs> onion, brown with tomato. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to end up changing this one because I actually have the alley in mind. As well as not an ender chest. Never mind, simplicity was not very simple. <laughs> it feels bad. This episode's getting pretty long and we're just about finished. Wait a minute. Okay, I've messed up here. I can't do those there. I have to do them under, completely under. Because if I do that with a hop, oh wait, no, never mind. I'm just dumb. Well, too late now. Actually, kind of makes it easier. How many is in here so far? 20? I could totally speed them all up. That would take so much, though. Definitely gonna fill up with the seeds. It's not like I'm using it for anything else. down that much. I didn't even really produce any seeds in all of that. That's crazy. Even with all of this, I'm not quite confident that it will, uh, last very long. It's because all the seeds are down here. That's why they're not off about any bugs. 
All the seeds are in the actual hopper themselves. Okay, well, that's the end of uh, the final part of this. See you all next time. Bye.